Hi everybody, welcome back to Rich Reviews. So today we're concluding the final stage of fitting the hydraulic ram for the roof tunnel system for our 458. And that concluding approach or concluding workshop is bleeding the roof hydraulic system. We've got our oil. Now this is Castrol Hispin ZHM. This is the hydraulic oil that actually comes with these hydraulic rams. But because it's classed as a hydraulic fluid, it's a hell of a job to get it delivered to you. Don't ask me how I managed to get some. It was, that was a black art getting hold of this oil, I can tell you. I've got a reservoir here. That's to contain the fluid that comes out of the hydraulic reservoir for the roof mechanism. Um, so there will be some fluid coming out. We'll go through that in a minute. And I've got my socket here, which I believe is a 13 mil. Yeah, it's a 13 mil socket. That's for removing these which are these plastic push on studs or screw on studs they've got a thread there but mostly you can push them on and pull them off or unscrew them with a bit of pressure on the back of them and i've all i've done is just use this to unscrew these to um, on the back of here of this back carpet section so that it provides access to the roof mechanism reservoir so the roof pump and reservoir is held behind here behind this 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 container here and it's like a clamshell how this rubber maps onto or how this rubber folds onto the roof pump mechanism and it's like a clamshell and contained in this in this rubber because that helps to quieten down it acts as a as a sound shock absorber it absorbs the sound because this roof pump is quite noisy and also you've got the hydraulic valves and hydraulic, um, you've got a hydraulic like relay system behind here as well, which you'll see in a minute. So what I've done is I've removed some of these screws to enable access for this carpet section to fold down. Uh, so it's just some of these around here, these, these, the one on the corner there, this one here and this one here, just to enable this carpet section to fold down. You can try and gain access to this reservoir without pulling this carpet down, but believe you me, it's a hell of a job. You're a, it makes it a lot easier just to fold this carpet down by taking these out. So when you do that, you have to first of all unlip the carpet from underneath this rubber weather strip here for the rear screen, which is quite easy to do. And I've forgotten to remove one, so you'll join me <laughs> while I'm just removing the final one here because it's quite dark here. I've missed this one. But you only you don't really need the ratchet because they're just really, um, if, you, if you like, stiff finger tight. So they're not really that tight. Make sure you don't drop stuff down, although you can retrieve it. So this should be the last one. So we'll put that with the others here. And this now folds down. And you can see here, this is like the, the relay system for all the hydraulic pipe work. So everything is plumbed into this relay mechanism, into this valve relay mechanism, and the pump actuates from this relay mechanism the different valves, and this, this actuates a different valve or opens and closes different valves that then pushes the hydraulic fluid through these pipe work that goes to the different sections when it needs to actuate certain pumps, which is of course managed fully by the automated roof ECU, which is located down there down there behind the driver's seat. So this is the hydraulic pump and the hydraulic roof reservoir. So we need to gain access to this. This is Velcroed and it's a lot easier to gain access to this once you've dropped this carpet section down. So you'll, if you feel underneath the back here, you'll feel the end of a Velcro, Velcro strip. And you can just feel it teasing out. So you just then unwrap that. This doesn't come out. This doesn't come off or come out. You just un, un, undo it. And you've got another one down this far side as well. And there you go. And then when you unlatch these Velcro straps, the whole thing starts to fold forwards. Now what you need to do then is open this up and this out of rubber section just unfolds like so. This is encapsulated. So this is like an insulation, the sound insulation section sound insulation like foam padding which is encapsulated around the pump and reservoir and this is, is an external wrapping which goes around that, that sound absorbing section and then uh, the velcro straps go around the outer section. Now what I hope to do is take that fluid out of that reservoir because I might as well refresh it while I'm here um, because that is a thing this fluid the hydraulic fluid in the ram system can get muddied and dirtied um, because it's just an actuating fluid, so it can get dirty, and it's good to replace it every now and again. Well, I don't know how often, but while I'm here, I might as well have a go at replacing it. And I've heard 
that it can work wonders for the actuation of the roof if you replace the hydraulic fluid after you know, a given period of time. Now you've got the connections here on the back of the pump and of course you've got the hydraulic connections here as well so the main to and from feeds. So one of these pipes is a hydraulic output, one is a hydraulic input and this is obviously the connections, the electric, electrical connections to the pump to switch the pump on and off. Now, you've got to be careful with this because obviously you don't want to damage any of this wiring, you don't want to damage any of this pump, this pipe work that's, that goes to the reservoir. So you've, you've got to be a bit careful how you deal with this. But I think I should be able to just ease it out of here, like so, and empty, empty the reservoir. Now, the reservoir fill hole and empty hole <laughs> is a little allen key at the back of the reservoir here. Now this is not known, this is not advertised. I've worked that out by seeing how the previous pumps worked on the earlier Ferraris and how this style of pump works on other, other cars that this, that this um, pump is used on. So first of all we need to remove the allen key at the back the, for the fill hole and then drain out the old fluid and of course we're going to drain out the old fluid into here. So it's quite a straightforward allen key, not sure what the allen key size is but I'm sure you can fathom that out for yourselves once you've got your, your toolkit out and you're ready to perform this action if you're going to perform this action yourself. So what I'm going to do now is just going to loosen off this allen key now. As I've detailed before with the roof up the roof mechanism has already gone through its releasing of pressure so it shouldn't be overtly pressurized and this is just the, the roof reservoir so it's not going to squirt any oil out anywhere but just be careful just in case because you don't hydraulic fluid going all over the carpet section in this tunnel roof area. If you enjoyed the video so far please give the video a thumbs up very important for our channel and if you like our style of content please think about subscribing. This is the little allen key filler plug that goes on the back on the end of the reservoir. Very easy to take out and note it's got a very little seal in there. Now I haven't got a new seal to go in there so, you, so we've got to look after that seal to make sure it's fine and that it, is, it will reseal when we put the the plug back in again. So what we'll just do is put that to one side and we're just going to tip this reservoir up now. I'm going to drain the fluid out from the reservoir because I've got two of these and I want to refill the reservoir. So this oil that we drain out should be the same color of this if it was newish oil. I can tell you now it's going to be quite a bit dirtier and that means that it could do with replacing. I am being careful by the way that I don't damage the the pipe work. We want to leave that reservoir there just to capture anything before we just wipe off the back of this and then clean up the back of the reservoir from any rubbish. Clean the, the whole area, the reservoir hole got a little bit of fluid left on in there. Right, so what I'm going to do is just walk around the other side and I'm just going to see if I can loosen off this clamp, this tie clip here, because I've got loads of different tie clips and see if I can just cut that tie clip which will alleviate the pressure on those hydraulic pipes which means that then I can lift up the pump a lot higher and tip it up properly on its end to relieve an, it from the rest of the hydraulic fluid in there, the old hydraulic fluid. Got my trusty cutters here. So I'm being very careful here to make sure I don't cut the hydraulic cables. There we go. So that will now ease up the pipe work a bit better and enable me to drain a bit more out. That's pretty much it. I've got pretty much all of it out now. So we just clean up the end plug hole first of all, where the where the seal is going to fit into from the from the plug. Now what we need to do is fill with new Castrol Hispin ZHM oil. This is the old oil. It does actually look fairly clean. I would say it is a little bit darker, as you'd expect, but it does look fairly clean. So the amount you should put into these, I believe is 270 milliliters. So this is 25 centiliters, so this should be about right. 
And what I've done as well is just cut off the end so it's going to enable the oil to press into the reservoir. Now you don't want to get too overzealous and put too much in there because you're not looking to fill up the reservoir. You're looking to have the right amount of fluid in there to enable the hydraulic system to function properly, but to leave a substantial air gap for fluid to come back into the reservoir. So you've got to leave a, an air gap in there. You've got to leave a gap. So you don't want to go crazy with topping it up. So we're just going to pop the plug back in again. Now this doesn't need to be murder tight. Just slightly nip it up. Remember you're nipping it up against a seal in there, a rubber seal. So it doesn't need to be murder tight. It should keep itself stable. So it looks about right. I may put a, I'm going to pop a bit more fluid in there actually. There we go. That's definitely got more fluid in there than it had before. So that looks a lot healthier. Because the roof mechanism folds back into this area, to be able to cycle the roof mechanism, we're going to have to put this back so that it's in some way held back together. We don't have to put it fully back together, but we need to put this back together so that we can cycle the roof um, because that's how you bleed the system. Um, if we leave it like that, then when we, when we cycle the roof, when we, when we open the roof, this roof mechanism is going to foul on there. And of course, it's going to cause all sorts of major problems. You could bend the, um, you could bend the roof mechanism part. So you just don't want to mess around with that. So we have to put this back together, first of all, in some semblance of manner. So we're now in a position where we can start cycling the roof mechanism to bleed it. We've upgraded or we've, we've replaced the hydraulic fluid in, in the hydraulic pump reservoir in, for the hydraulic system. We've removed everything from here that could foul the roof when, if, when the roof comes back. We've put this back together but not finalised. It's just tacked back together and this is just retained by the, by the weather shield part um, with one tack in here to hold it in there so it's not going to foul it and then we're going to operate the roof to bleed it through. First of all, I have to lock it with the system, then wait a few seconds and then press the button three times and it will look to close the roof. So I want to close this down first of all and then fully cycle it and open it. I can tell you now straight away it sounds loads better. It's not making any grunching sounds. Changing the fluid in the reservoir, that's resolved it. That's done it very, very quickly. There's no more grunching sound at all. There's no more air in the system. Um, replacing the hydraulic fluid has made a massive difference. And I would say that the roof is actually operating quicker now. It's a lot smoother. If you want some more details of the Smart Top automated roof mechanism for the 458, then I'll put a link in the description below to the video that we've already done covering off this Smart Top unit. So I'm just gonna cycle it again to close it. Changing the hydraulic fluid has made quite a substantial difference with regards to the smooth operating of the rams, of the, of the, hydro, whole, of the whole hydraulic system. So yeah, that's, that's quite a substantial improvement. I'm really pleased with that. After I topped up the reservoir, I cycled it through, through a few times, as you saw with the, with the roof mechanism, it was a hell of a lot smoother. And when I checked the fluid in the reservoir, it was, it was dirty because the fluid that had come out of the system, obviously the new, oil, res the new hydraulic fluid that I'd put in the reservoir had circulated through the system and the old fluid that was in the, ex that was in the existing pipe work and in the old ram, et cetera, and the, in the other ram rather, um, hydraulic cylinder ram, had gone back into the reservoirs and it was quite dirty. So I've replaced all of that fluid again. So I've drained all the fluid out, which is a lot dirtier than the, lo than the last lot was and replaced it with fresh fluid. And I'm now to topping it back up to the correct level. Now to ascertain the correct level, you hold the pump and the reservoir horizontal as it would be when it was fitted in the system. I'll just put a torch on here so you can see. And there's a plus sign here on the reservoir. 
and there's a little marker below it and a little marker above it. And that's the lower level marker for the fluid and that's the upper level marker and either side of the plus. So the, so the line above the plus is the upper level marker. So it's about midway at the moment. So I'm gonna put a little bit more fluid in there just to top it up a little bit more nearer the top level, nearer the higher level marker. But you, obviously you don't wanna to put too much fluid in there because you don't wanna overfill it. And to, to achieve that, to be able to empty it properly, what I did was I loosened off the strap here so I had full access. I, I took the tight clip off here, as you saw in the hydraulic pipe work, but I also took the tight, tight clip off here to enable me to have full, full maneuverability with the pump system. And what I'm gonna do now is just loosen off the reservoir plug again, and then we're just gonna put some more hydraulic fluid in there. Good old Castrol Hispin ZHM, eh? So if I just manage, that should do us. Don't want to go much more than that. And again, make sure you don't cross thread the plug when you're screwing it back in again, because you're just screwing it into plastic and tighten it up. And then just a slight nip on there. You don't want it murder tight or anything. And then check the levels again, holding it back horizontal. So I've bled all the hydraulic roof mechanism through and the roof is now closed fine. I topped up the reservoir as you saw, put everything back. So it was just a reversal of the removal procedure for putting all those little plastic uh, screw studs back on again to put the carpet back together. And um, you must make sure of course that you put the clamshell, the foam and rubber clamshell back together against the hydraulic pump properly and secure it back exactly as it was before. Make sure that the rubber levels are overlapped properly. Um, so it's secured properly and obviously the carpet is then secured properly back with those as i said those rubber those plastic screw sections and then close the roof and that's it we're all done so the hydraulic roof mechanism is all bled through i've replaced all the hydraulic fluids from the dirty old fluid with fresh new castrol hispin zhm fluid so all finished new hydraulic ram in there and new fresh hydraulic fluid with the reservoir topped up to the correct level